What's up guys, this is a product review for Cards Against Humanity. Um, I was supposed to do this a few months back, but things have been getting on top of me just a little bit. But um, we are going to do it again. We'll do it here, we'll do it right now. This is Cards Against Humanity. This is the £20 UK edition of the Cards Against Humanity from the um, official store. And it is quite a large box, and it contains how many cards does it contain? I think it contains about 500 cards, which is quite a, quite a shitload to say it's a, it's a board game. But um, yeah, I'll just go through it a little bit. You have to be 17 plus to actually play this game because uh, most of the, most of the answers or questions are actually quite dodgy. Um, like it's been known to have uh, Jimmy Savile and Madeleine McCann actually in the questions, which doesn't sound great, but yeah. But when people do actually get the get the answer, it is quite funny when they put it with a question. Um, four to twenty players, so um, you can have a quite a load of players. Thirty to ninety minutes because it can take absolutely forever to go through five hundred cards. Um, <clears throat> and yes, the UK edition. Cards Against Humanity, a party game for horrid people. Unlike most of the party games you've played before, Cards Against Humanity is as despicable and awkward as you and your friends. The game is simple, each round and one player asks a question from a black card and the other players answer with the funniest white card. It's got some decent reviews from absolutely no one I've I have heard of except Banksy saying I purchased this product. So uh, let's give it a quick open. Is there anything behind the box? No, nothing. Absolutely fuck all there. Because I know for a fact you can get the big blacker box, which is a <laughs> it sounds it sounds dodgy, but there is a secret. Um, card embedded within the uh, the outer cover so let's just pull out there <clears throat> ah the instruction manual after reading this you actually realize that um you can sometimes you don't really bother reading the entire all of it because some of the rules don't really make sense um you've got the rules what do you call it gambling House rules, happy ending, rebooting the universe, packing heat, rando card card Rith yeah? God is dead, Ed Balls, which actually just says Ed Balls as a rule. Never, don't really have a fucking clue what that means. Uh, never have I ever and serious business. And then on the back, disclaimer. Or oh, hang on, the translators know. Cards Against Humanity was made by eight fat yanks. We've written about 15% of the game to adapt it to your outmoded culture. We'd love to know if you think it's a dog's bollocks or a bit crap. Give us a ring at mail at cardsagainsthumanity.com. Disclaimer says Cards Against Humanity is a work of satire. Please address our complaints and legal threats to the estate agent of George General, General George Washington, 3200 Mount Vernon Memorial Highway. Virginia, United States of America. Uh, that doesn't sound... That's not going to the White House, is it? No, of course not. Stupid reason. Uh, we'll, let's have a look. Well, that's it. I will put a full list of the instructions which you can find here. Um, so you can read that. But let's get into the cards. There are quite a selection of thick black cards on here. We just go through them. I've just seen one dodgy one. If everyone remembers it, Jim will fix it. See, it already starts dodgy. And um, there are. If we just like pick one at random, and oh, okay, here we go. Next from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of. Okay, I'll just pick a white card, any specific one at random. Some of them you never know, they, they, some of them aren't that funny, but when you actually get the right one, it's actually, it actually works quite well. Next from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, the Chamber of Faffing About. So yeah, that's a bit crap. 
Uh, let's try. When I am the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, I will create the Ministry of Fingering. <laughs> See, now that's a, that's a little bit funny. That is quite funny. Although that's why it is actually main 17 plus on the box. Just in case it gets a bit rude. But um, yeah. Well, that's about it, guys, to be honest. Um, there is a secret. There is a secret within the UK edition of Cards Against Humanity. And I will show you that now if it is still in the box. So just get that box like that. Turn it upside down. We might have to slide it upside down as well. There we go. There we go. The ticket. Tiny little ticket, but it is there. Inspected by 205 for the greater glory of our capitalist overlord. So that, and that's the only little secret there is to do with this box. So we'll put everything back. I will upload instructions so you do get a chance. You can actually download a PDF version of this game from uh, the Cards Against Humanity website, which contains, I believe it's the, uh, the US edition of the cards, but it does require you to actually go to uh, Staples or print out the cards yourself on Decent Card. I mean, I tried to go into Staples in the UK and uh, try and get it off, but they wanted to charge me a three pound remove from USB fee, or whatever stupid fee they want to bring up, but that's what they wanted to charge me. On top of that would be £16 for the printing of the cards, even though they're in black and white. So, there you go.